Hello, I am Giulia Calabretta and as director of the SPD Master, I'll give you an introduction to the program. Let me start from its essence. In the SPD Master, you learn to use the skills, practices and tools of design in a business context to help companies to effectively address complex innovation challenges. In this master, you learn to become agents of change within an organization, within your own startups, or by being part of a design consultancy. You learn to use your design skills to identify meaningful business opportunities, to promote an innovative mindset within organization so that they can embrace the complexity of innovation and dare to bring your great ideas to the market. Let me give you some example of SPD graduation projects to understand what this all means in practice. Let's start from Dunia. Dunia graduated at BMW Motorcycles where she was asked to find a business opportunity for attracting millennials by using her human-centered design skills. The result was a concept for a motorcycle suit full of sensors that would guide the young bikers in their driving movements and that at the same time would record the entire driving experience so that they could share it on social media. Mirte graduated at Nike and was asked to use her future visioning skills and her prototyping abilities to find business opportunities for big data in the Nike store experience. She combined creativity with brand analysis and knowledge of technology to prototype a smart dressing room that would give the consumer personalized advice on sport clothes, performance and training. Then there's Eline, who used her skills that she developed during a DSPD master to start her own company, Night Balance. Night Balance launched a cutting edge device to prevent obstructive sleep apnea. During her graduation, she used the branding knowledge that she acquired during the master to come up with a brilliant and meaningful market positioning and market introduction strategy for her device. And finally, there is Paul, who used his SPD skills to help the Red Cross developing a toolkit for quickly designing and implementing recovery solutions when disasters like the Irma hurricane occurs. His toolkit is based on the design practice of co-creation and on engaging the local community as much as possible in finding the most appropriate recovery path. So in SPD, you can also become a change agent in the context of social innovation. What do these, all, these examples say about the SPD master and strategic design? Well, that you will learn to act at the interface between business and design by combining creative and business analytical skills, but by always keeping people at the center of your innovation process. That you will learn to combine the design of products and services with the design of organizations, brands, and business model. That you will still deliver tangible results, but that this might take the form of strategic tools like business model canvas, brand strategies, roadmaps, service blueprints, and so forth. How will you learn all that? You'll be following courses and educational activities for two years or four semesters. The first year is made of mandatory courses where you learn core strategic design practices, methods and tools, and you'll develop the right mindset to act at a strategic level. The second year is completely customizable and allows you to focus your education on specific aspects of strategic designers that are aligned with your interests and inclinations. You'll do that by choosing the right combination of electives and graduation projects. 
But let's start from the first year and the fall semester. Um, the fall semester is all about learning how to identify meaningful business opportunities and translate them into solutions that take technologies into consideration and that make sense from a business perspective. You learn all that mainly during the course design strategy project where you learn strategic design tools to analyze the business context, understand and empathize with stakeholders and delivering solutions that can be new business models, new ways of doing innovation or future visions. Let me give a concrete example of the work you do in this course. Um, in the past years, Ford has been one of the clients for this course and the brief that Ford gave to students was very broad. Go and explore opportunities for auto autonomous driving. Through lectures, coaching sessions and discussions with the company, students learn to conduct all sort of analysis to focus this very open brief and come up with solutions that span from car sharing services to a vision on the future of mobility where all formal transformations of transportation converge to game experience to create acceptance in consumers for autonomous driving. So really a variety of solutions that trigger companies to think and act differently. And this interplay with companies happens in many courses in the master as the program is built around the idea that the most effective learning experience to become a good strategic designer comes from working together with both companies and researchers during your master. So we strive to combine research based education with continuous contact with companies and with continuous involvement of practitioners in the field. This collaborative learning approach continues in the spring semester, which is built around the idea that once you have identified great business opportunities and related solutions, you need to know how to effectively position them in the market. You learn that through the two core courses of the spring semester. The first one is brand and product commercializations, which will teach you how to understand and shape the essence of a brand and how to translate that into tangible manifestations like packaging, communication campaigns, and brand experience to effectively launch innovations in the market. In the past year, students in this course have been working with companies and brands like Tony Chocoloni, Unilever, Philips, and Supertrash to help them understanding their brand DNA and coming up with brilliant commercialization strategies for their new products. And the second course is SPD research, where you learn how to do research with the rigor of an academic. And you really need to have that rigor in coming up with users and business insights if you want to convince stakeholders to embrace your strategic ideas. So really an important course to learn how to argument your ideas. And also a great opportunity to work side by side with TU Delft researcher, write research papers with them, and perhaps present your work in international research conferences. Then you move into the second year and the elective space. You'll have 30 credits to select the perfect combination of electives to become the type of strategic designers that you want to be. There are over 50 electives that you can choose from the industrial design faculty, which go from topics related to technology, to entrepreneurship, to design for healthcare. Or, you can look at other elective options like taking an entire semester from another master from our faculty to doing an internship or doing a research project or taking a course in another TU Delft faculty or another Dutch university or you can even think about studying abroad. Either the industrial design faculty has relationship with the top design schools all over the world, as you can see in this map. So this offer you 
plenty of possibilities for internationalizing your education. And besides being an exciting learning experience, SPD is also a lot of fun with your fellow students. As the master has a vibrant student community called Studio 360 that organized a variety of events from case days to international study trips to parties and socialization activities of all kinds. Check their website and contact them if you want to know more about their activities and the SPD experience. And after all this fun and learning, what kind of jobs expect you? There are many possibilities and generally you should be able to nail your first job within six, mo six months from your graduations. This could be at a design consultancy or a management consultancy where strategic design work is done. This could be in a design department of a large organization. Um, this could be starting your own startup. It could be in a brand department. It could be in, um, as a service designer. It could be as a service, as a design research, or it could be as an academic doing design research at an academic level. And there are many more possibilities as strategic design is really a growing and dynamic field and the number of companies interested in our graduates is really, really expanding. So maybe you'll be one of our graduates. Myself and the entire SPD team are really looking forward to meet you and to guiding you into this program and to become the strategic designer that you want to be. Thank you for listening and I hope to meet you soon.